Unprepared and problematic, long-term care homes in this province have been at the center of so much heartache during this pandemic. A new report pointing to years of systematic issues that impacted the response effort amid the first outbreaks. CTV's Scott Lightfoot is live with more. Scott. Well, Michelle, this report is from Ontario's Auditor General. Many of the issues in it are sadly not new. They have been discussed. They have been reported on before. One of them actually deals with something you heard Colin mention, the government moving people from hospitals into long-term care homes. The Auditor General said in some cases people were moved into homes that were already at 98 percent capacity. That caused difficulties with crowding, a number of issues at play here, and we all know how that ended up hurting Ontario's long-term care sector. It is another spotlight on the plight of Ontario's long-term care homes. Today, the province's Auditor General released a report suggesting that lack of pandemic preparedness, along with systemic problems involving infection control, led to tragic results in homes across Ontario. There is no accountability. There's a slap on the wrist. There are no heavy financial penalties or revocation of licenses for bad actors. And, and this is part of a huge problem that has not been fixed. Accountability, just one of the concerns in this report, which highlights a number of issues, including that long-term care homes were not required to prepare for a pandemic as part of their emergency planning, that infection prevention and control measures were not consistently practiced, understood or inspected prior to COVID-19, that the transfer of patients from hospitals to long-term care homes contributed to crowding in those homes, that restricting family caregivers from visiting contributed to a decline in residents' mental and physical health, that a lack of space prevented homes from isolating residents with COVID-19 effectively, and that on-site inspections were paused for two months over concerns regarding inspector safety. This isn't a case where, um, you know, we can assume that these long-term care homes didn't know that they were doing something wrong. I think it's safe to assume they're very familiar the administration, particularly in the for-profit industry, are very aware of what their obligations are. Ontario's Minister of Long-Term Care said many of the issues date back to before the creation of her ministry. I'm here to try and fix long-term care. Uh, but if the building's on fire and you're running into it to, to try and save people, yeah, I think that's pretty much what we tried to do. But we didn't start the fire. The report has 16 recommendations, which the Auditor General is hopeful will be acted upon. There's a lot of systemic issues that need to be overcome, and there's a lot of players in this field that the discussions are happening with. So I think, um, I, I want to say I'm cautiously optimistic. Another report, the final report from Ontario's Long-Term Care COVID-19 Commission, is expected to be submitted to the Ministry by this Friday. And Friday is the deadline for the Commission to submit its report to the Minister. It is a very highly anticipated, long-awaited report. And that report will be made public at some point after it has been submitted to the Minister. As for the Auditor General's report, you can read it and more about it on our website. Morning Live in Etobicoke, I'm Scott Lightfoot. Zoraida, back to you.